I'm going to do a quick review of the Brute Jetter. Jetter's Northwest, Brute Jetter. This is the 4009, 4000 PSI, 9 gallon a minute. This is just going to be a quick review. This has a 9 gallon, I think, 9 gallon buffer tank. Um, so most of the time it keeps up with just hose flow coming in. There's a couple nozzles that we run, like the Warthog, that it'll drain the buffer tank, so you got to kind of keep an eye on it so you don't run out of water. We did opt for the power hose reel. So this button here will reel the hose back in, which is kind of nice. Our old one didn't have that. I also did the remote control, and I can do a video sometime on that. Uh, it's pretty nice. You've only got one guy. Um, overall, we're pretty happy with this. The only thing I can really comment on negative so far is the muffler. It comes out right here on the front. You see that slant cut. Um, this job, it's luckily it didn't catch the grass on fire, so we've had a lot of rain. You can see where it's turning it brown. And it's hot, so you're always facing this way with the hose coming off. And then the other thing I don't like, which I'm going to move this, this I'm assuming is supposed to be their handy hose keeper, but then it ends up dripping all the time on, on the muffler. So that's really the only down I can think of. Um, so we've got 15 hours on this machine. Uh, overall, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. We just don't care for that muffler design. I wish that came out a different location or there was some way of changing that. And then I'll probably end up moving this keeper to this side. That way it doesn't drip on there. Um, but yeah, if that stupid exhaust, I mean, it gets hot. It's 95 degrees today, and then I got this stupid thing blowing hot air. So we try to keep it away from where we're working. Um, but it's more convenient having that hose come off towards you, of course. So anyway, that's the only down I've been able to figure so far. Um, starts great, runs great seems like it has plenty of power and performance we usually use a reaper i've got a reaper nozzle we'll run in that's kind of our um, what we send down the line first is this reaper and then there's our warthog we just finished running it i think this line's got a fiber optic crossbore or something so we're going to camera it right now but uh, anyway like i said overall it's it's a good machine i've been real happy with it uh, just that one downside so far too noisy to do a in-action video, but I can do one sometime if anyone wants to see anything specific about it.